opening of this carnival season demonstrates the resilience of our people. Mrs. Raspai, as I mentioned in our previous exchange, carnival is you, carnival is me, but most importantly, carnival is us. It's we culture, and you can count on our support to create what was long overdue, a true partnership. We applaud you on this great lineup under such circumstances, especially the strictly local night that me personally is looking forward to. Our artists, as we know, are beyond talented. On behalf of the President de la Collectivité, in my capacity as the first Vice President and also President of the Tourism Office and the Territorial Council, we say congrats and chapeau. Hats off to Luciana Raspai and your entire team. Dear friends, do have a safe, violence and injury free carnival. Remember, despite the circumstances, we're jamming still. This is it. We culture, we fit. Le son de la musique va retentir dans nos rues. Les couleurs flamboyantes des costumes vont ravir nos regards. Le joyeux bazar du carnaval va secouer Saint-Martin. Juste pour dire au monde que malgré tout et plus que jamais, Saint Martin must smile again. And Saint Martin is smiling again. This 2018 Carnival Edition is so particular in many ways. But without the commitment, the energy, the strong will and go of my FCDSM family, we would not have been there. Allow me to thank them warm heartedly for the tremendous work they all poured despite the situation and to let them know how grateful I am for the confidence that they entrusted in me. We culture, we fit. For the fetting, I know I can count on you, my carnival lovers, right? Yeah. But for the culture, Carnival is culture, and I must insist and say that Carnival is the most popular cultural expression of our heritage. The streets are the stage for this display of splendor and creativity. And I believe that Carnival is a cultural event that we had to revive again also and maintain, even though we're going through some difficult times. And it's going to be sharp but it's going to be short and sweet. And I think what the Carnival Committee uh, is doing currently um, for this Carnival season, with the small means that they have, the small, I would say, budget that they have, I believe it's going to be something nice, and we're going to contract everything in the short term. And again, as I say, short but sweet. What would you have to say for the people from the dot side to promote the Carnival? Well, as usual, um, I mean, Carnival is uh, French side, Dutch side. We know the Dutch side is always uh, the explosion in terms of what we call Carnival. Um, and we participate to that Carnival and uh, I would say that today we would um, enjoy having everyone um, to have some fun. Enjoy also our Carnival that we are trying to bring back together. And you are all uh, invited to share all that fun and all that fiesta, as we say, on the French side. So please feel free. Uh, we're going to be on. We're going to be working, I believe, on three days. But three days of fun and three days for us uh, to celebrate what we love. The people is to free them from mental bondage. A nation that is governed by injustice, inequality, and unfairness, it's against the spirit of democracy. We will tell the people the truth, and the people will be our judge. Hi, I am Lisa Alexander. Candidate number nine on the United St. Martin Party slate on February 26, 2018. Vote for me, Lisa Alexander. Candidate number nine.
Hey guys, did you know that now with Telcel, if you accumulate $25 or more within one calendar month, you get 15 more? 15 more? Yes, 15 more. However you want. So I can top up $3 now, $10 next week, and so on until I reach or pass $25? That's right. Get 15 more. Wow! I feel like a 15 again. Yeah. Right. Accumulate $25 or more within one calendar month and get 15 more. Tell Cell, when you want more. GEBE has been faithfully serving the communities of St. Martin, powering your home and our economy. Come rain or shine, our qualified team of professionals are working hard 24 hours a day to provide you and your family with safe, reliable electricity and water. We use the latest technologies and test our products daily to maintain the highest international standards. Our friendly staff is always there to assist you whether in person, over the phone or online. We are committed to constantly improving our products and services, making them more efficient, effective and environmentally friendly to serve you better today and our next generation of clients tomorrow. GEBE, -E, powering a brighter future. Our friend Megawati is here with tips to save you energy. One, turn your air coat temperature up. Two, use a ceiling fan instead. Three, buy energy saving products. Save some green with NVGEBE. -E. So in the draft budget, which will be sent to the parliament, the deficit can be smaller, but definitely it will not be a ballot budget. Therefore, a large, best, a large deficit is unavoidable. And also in 2018, there will be the need for liquidity support. As far as we know, the shortage in liquidity is zooming up already in the first half of 2018, and perhaps already shortly after the first quarter, although exact information is still lacking. Therefore, we made appointments with the Minister of Finance for extra information on this. But more important, it's very imp more importantly, we also pointed out that it, it should be March 1, 2018, for the moment, a budget passed by the Parliament, as we also advised in December 2017. And based on this, budget discussions should be started between the Netherlands and St. Martin on liquidity su support and under what circumstances. So I believe it's also in the interest of St. Martin that this date of March 1, 2018 will be reached. I come now to financial management. Since the qu third quarter of 2016, the government of St. Martin and the Ministry of Finance in particular suffers from IT problems. These problems make it harder for the Minister of Finance to have a good oversight on expenditure and efficiently allocate the limited available funds. Also, the Minister's possibility to publish quarterly reports on the financial situation of St. Martin is limited. And since these reports are not available, also Parliament's insight in the financial situation is limited. In the opinion of the CFT, this situation needs to be resolved urgently. Therefore, the CFT advised the government of St. Martin to ask the Dutch government for technical assistance and capacity building. In our opinion, strong financial management will be beneficial for both St. Martin and the Netherlands. Furthermore, I come now by the economy. Furthermore, I would like to comment on the economy. It's very important to get the economy going. The reconstruction fund to which the Dutch government has pledged 550 million euros plays a vital role in restoring the economy of St. Martin 
and get a better life for the people of St. Martin. Importantly, a boost in, economy, in economic activity will have a positive influence on government finance and the deficit will shrink. As tourists, it's very important for St. Martin, the CFT visited several tourist related entities this week. We express appreciation for the work that has been done at the cruise terminal and the harbor after hurricanes Irma and Maria. But still, a lot has to be done. We took notice of the intensive discussion between the government of St. Martin, the Dutch government, the World Bank, and also the IMF this week. Although, as CIT, we have no official role in this, we hope and have confidence that the projects of the Reconstruction Fund will be on its way. We hope that these talks lead to an arrangement in the coming weeks. Let me end with a final note. The process to rebuild St. Martin and the sustainability of public finance as well will take quite some time. But the resilience and the unity shown by the people should be mentioned as well. is to free them from mental bondage. A nation that is governed by injustice, inequality, and unfairness, it's against the spirit of democracy. We will tell the people the truth, and the people will be our judge. Hi, I am Lisa Alexander. Candidate number nine on the United St. Martin Party slate on February 26, 2018. Vote for me, Lisa Alexander. Candidate number nine. People all across St. Martin are switching to a more rewarding experience. The Whip MasterCard Fun Miles Credit Card, better known as My Card. Earn one fun mile for every $2 spent, even abroad and online. This will quickly get you a ton of fun miles to redeem for travel, shopping, food, fuel, and much more. But there's more to my card. Worldwide acceptance, an EMV chip for extra security, and 250 free fun miles with first use. Switch to my card today at WIB. Hey guys, did you know that now with Telcel, if you accumulate $25 or more within one calendar month, you get 15 more? 15 more? Yes, 15 more. However you want. So I can top up $3 now, $10 next week, and so on until I reach or pass $25? That's right. Get 15 more. Wow! I feel like a 15 again. Yeah. Right. Accumulate $25 or more within one calendar month and get 15 more. Telcel, when you Want more? Changing my, my hat a little bit, as a member of Council of Ministers, this is an issue that has um, concerned me for quite some time. Um, and actually, by law, I am obligated to respect the confidentiality of what happens in our discussions in Council of Ministers. And I am asking the Council of Ministers, and our, 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 our minister in particular, to lift that, because I feel that there's many things that I would like to say that I'm bound by law not to speak about. First of all, I think there's some things that the public should understand. I notice in documentation sometimes we refer to this as a landfill and in other times we refer to it as a dump. 
What we have is a dump. We do not have a landfill. A landfill means that the leachate, in other words, the liquids that pass through the landfill, are prevented from moving to other locations. So in other words, there should be a liner in place, there should be some sort of a collection and treatment process for it. Hazardous gases also should be collected and vented. Both of these, to my knowledge, do not happen. And also, most importantly, in a landfill, the material is properly covered. The materials should have a, level, a layer of dirt or sand that will prevent um, rodents, uh, other vectors, and as well, it starves the materials from um, oxygen, which is what is necessary for fires to burn. There are a number of advices. The SARE has written an advice. That advice is online for all the public to read. The SOAB has written a report about the terms of reference for the management of the dump. That report is something that I believe the public has a right to see and understand what is the contents of it. The Ministry of VSI has also drafted a report about the impacts of the waste management system or lack of in St. Martin. Um, I have serious concerns about the way the dump is managed. If you remember that Previously, the price for management of the dump was substantially higher, and you have to wonder if the cheaper price wasn't done at the expense of quality. There were offers that were made in the past. There are water pumps stationed close to the, the dump where they would be able to pump water from the salt pond onto the dump. Those pumps are non-functional. Offers have been made in the past to make them functional. They are, to this date, still not functional. Um, a company, um, Watkin Trading, has offered a firefighting product from a company called Ansel. It's called SilverX. This was offered numbers of times to the government, initially for a cost price, eventually even for free. All, reject all offers were rejected. Only yesterday, when I contacted the Prime Minister, and I said, look, there is an offer that has been made in the past, and I believe that offer still stands. And sure enough, the product was delivered to the fire department. Unfortunately, they only had nine pails of the product available because the rest of it was stolen after looting. And as I understand, I think the Prime Minister can elaborate, but out of the five fire trucks that are available or there, only two are functional. And it leads a question, for the public and for the journalists to investigate. As you look at previous budgets and capital investment budgets, were there requests for new fire equipment? So again, I have many questions. I'm frustrated, I'm angry as is the rest of the population. This is outrageous. The costs of the population, both in terms of material costs and intangible costs, the health of our population um, are unacceptable. I can't just sit aside. I have to gather all my supporters, every single person on this island, and tell them it's time to vote for USP, the only party that has grown every year since it came in, and we are going to grow again. We have a strong list, and we have a respectable list, and we have a lot of young, energetic people on this party that are ready to do one thing, work. Work for the people and in the interest of the country. You know, another thing that I, in going to the campaign trail, and even as a young person myself, it hit me right away. People are frustrated to another end. It's been, my colleague said, three elections in four years that he has been a part of. And this is a frustration in the people where they say, wait a minute, I got promised something once, twice, the third time. Those other parties think they're gonna get me again? There's a, there's a saying out in the streets right now, the joke ain't funny no more. It is not funny no more. Mullet Bay is not a joke no more. The opportunities for all our people is not funny no more. This is serious business now. We are gonna vote for people that can do for us going forward. Not what you could do for me now, but what you could do to make sure me, my children, my family, and everybody can get a part of this. Make no mistake, there are hundreds of millions of dollars moving through this economy right now. Do not let them fool you. The opportunities are out there. 
But we have to make sure those opportunities come to you. And where does that start? It starts in Parliament. There's some people that do not want to let you see that the members of Parliament are the people that really have to set the tone to this country. If they have a serious issue in St. Martin, you don't call a minister to ask a bunch of questions to, to sound cute and sound good. No, you bring an issue to the floor of Parliament to inform the people, to get the information and create real change in the country. And that is not happening now. When I come to Parliament and you give me, you give me your vote, and you support me and I'm your member of parliament, you bring an issue to me, there will be an inquiry into it. We are going to go into finding out all the details of the problems that we have in this country and we're gonna bring it to the forefront. We're not gonna discuss it in closed doors, amongst coalition alone. Hey, is it okay to touch that? Why not leave Mullet Bay alone, but you don't wanna to touch that? No, we're gonna to touch Mullet Bay and we're gonna to touch every issue that affects all the people in St. Martin. Who get vexed, they lose. But I am going to bring all the top issues straight to the floor of Parliament. And who gets back to Simple as that. It's been said that behind every door, possibility awaits. How much possibility depends on which door you open first. Every day, we help our customers discover the possibilities in their lives. It all starts with a conversation. Scotiabank. Discover what's possible. Let's <laughs> go.